In time of need, many look to the sky, and it's no surprise to see wings flights of hope amidst the clouds here in western New York, giving hope to others one flight at a time. Now joining us is wings founder and pilot Joe DeMarco, along with a special someone who has been greatly touched by the non-for-profit, Jean Barrett. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. Joe, how many flights are you up to now? Oh, uh, a little over 5,000, about 5,100 for me. And, wow. you know. When, we fir when you first started this, did you ever think that it would grow to what it is today? No, no, that first flight was just an uh, eye-opener, yeah. you know, making a difference in someone's life and just kind of evolved from there. And you've touched so many lives here and around Western New York. And Jean, that's why we'd like to welcome you to the show this morning. Thank Can you. you talk to us about how this relationship began and how you found out about Wings Flights of Hope? I actually was told through a friend of mine uh, that I've known since seventh grade about Wings. Mm -hmm. And she said for me to reach out and I did. I left a message and Joe's wife called me and it was actually last minute. So um, she did get me a flight, Joe flew me and I was able to go to Dana-Farber to get the help that I needed because uh, I could no longer get the help here. Talk to us about your story and, and why you are in touch with Joe. Well, so it really helps to go on a private flight because with a suppressed immune system, mm -hmm. you really have to make sure that you're not getting sick because then, you know, sickness is already cancer. So you don't want to have a suppressed immune system and then be subject to, disease, like, you know, other diseases and things like that mm -hmm. on a commercial flight. So it's really helpful. And how often have you flown together? Well, we're actually flying tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. So this will be okay. my third time. Yeah, we yes. already done two flights. We actually have a flight today right from here down to Dana Farber in Boston also. Wow, and how has your relationship with Wings Flight Some Hope impacted your life? I mean, what would you like to tell viewers at home who are who need the help and how this team can give back? Well, honestly, Joe is really nice. He's just extremely <laughs> friendly. He's trustworthy. He is an amazing pilot. All the pilots are very And <laughs> all of the, I only met Joe, so that's all, you know, I'm sure everybody's wonderful. Um, but on top of that, uh, I have a little boy who's six, and more than anything, they've just touched my heart to, like, even talk to Finn and stuff like that. So it just means so much to me that it feels like you just meet these people and they actually feel like family after one time. Mm -hmm. So it's really touching. Now, families at home that are in need of help, Joe, how simple is it to request a flight? Yeah, they could either call or then go online at wingsflight.org. All our information's on there. You could actually request a flight right online. Oh, nice. And okay. it's very simple for us to fly someone. We need a, uh, an appointment verification so we know what time their, their appointment is so we can get them there in time and, and then get them home in time and also just a doctor's release saying it's okay for them to travel by air. So it's very simple. And uh, how can the community give back? to well, help you, help others, and any special well, events coming up? We run all on donations, which is nice for people to know, and all the pilots volunteer. We're very proud of that. But we have our big fundraiser coming up August 3rd. Uh, we have uh, Fair Trade playing. We have a special guest, Eric Van Houten, so we're excited about that. Oh, he's great. Yes, yeah, so we uh, we have a great party. It's it's food all day. It's 4 to 11, beer, pop, and wines included. You, you can go, you know, go online and get information. But this keeps us funded for a good portion of the year. And we also have some people give their testimonials, like Jeannie will tell her story. Some people don't understand why people have to travel. I mean, our hospital's great here, Roswell, they're fantastic. But all of our hospitals specialize in different types of cancer. And not one hospital can do it all. So that's where we come in. Well, Joe, you have touched the lives of so many people. And Jean, we want to thank you so much for joining us here this morning oh, and, and sharing your story. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Now, everybody, we cannot thank Joe enough for all that he does here in Western New York. Wings Flights of Hope. Please.